All right, guys, so this is going to be a relatively short video. A lot of you guys have contacted me and asked uh, to create a tutorial on how to install Windows 11 on, as a virtual machine on a Synology device. And I think that a lot of you guys have asked for this video is because during the pre-release stages of Windows 10, when it uh, 11, sorry, when it was still in beta, when you got an ISO and wanted to install it as a virtual machine, uh, Microsoft didn't yet enforce uh, 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 the prerequisites of having a TPM, for example. So the installation was as smooth as installing Windows 10. And now, when uh, Windows 11 is already in its uh, final release, when you try to install it, you get an error of uh, 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 an unsupported hardware. And so let's dive right in into my Synology device. And I'm going to open up Virtual Machine Manager. Now, I am not going to do a tutorial on how to use Virtual Machine Manager. I, I already created such a video and I will put a link to it in the top right corner. We are now building upon what has been taught in that video. I am under the assumption you already know how to create a virtual machine and also I am under the assumption you already have a Windows 10 ISO file to use in this, uh, in this scenario. So let's dive right in and go to virtual machine and create a virtual machine. Let's keep it as Microsoft Windows. Let's give it a name. Win11 demo for this example. I'm going to keep it with four CPUs and I'm going to give it four gigs of memory. Video card, I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna give it 80 gigabytes of hard drive and I'm going to select the Virt.io and space reclamation. This is exactly how I installed, for example, Windows 10 devices, a uh, virtual machine, sorry. I'm going to attach it to the network of my IoT and I'm going to give it the Virt.io uh, um, model of uh, virtual NIC. Click on next. Now I'm going to apply the ISO file for my Windows 10 installation, Windows 11, sorry. Auto start no firmware, I'm going to change it to UEFI and that's the only change I'm doing in this uh, uh, window right here. Click on next, next, power on the virtual machine, and done. So our virtual machine has now been created. It is already in the process and it will be powered on. So once it's powered on, we'll jump over and connect to it using the console. That's great. Let's click on connect. I am going to, I pressed on my space bar just uh, to confirm that I want to uh, load from a, a virtual DVD. So this process is going to take, I don't know, a minute or two, depending on uh, your Synology NES model and how, uh, what CPU it has. I'm going to cut the recording right here and I'm going to return when uh, we are presented with a Windows 11 uh, setup wizard. All right, so we have waited patiently about, I don't know, a minute, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. And now we are presented with a, a setup wizard for Windows 11. So let's click on next, click install. And I'm going to run through the entire wizard just in order to show you that uh, when using uh, 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 the, uh, the RTM version of Windows 11, you will get an error that, uh, that your computer is not compatible with Windows 11. And this is exactly when I'll show you what to do. So let's click an addition. And as you can see, we get an error that our PC can't run Windows 11 because in the final version of Windows 11, the enforcement of having the TPM is already introduced into the ISO. Now, I am going to show you how to do a little bit of a registry tweaking in order to bypass uh, 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 this error message. Now, keep in mind, this is something that you need to, uh, 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 to be informed that Microsoft itself has stated that while it's allowing these bypasses uh, to allow installations of Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, Microsoft has also stated very clearly that running this kind of a setup in, on an unsupported hardware will get you uh, not uh, eligible to get security updates for your Windows 11 installation. And this is something that you need 
to, uh, uh, to really be aware that there is some sort of a security issue here. From here, you will do your own decision. All right, so in order to get started with the process of uh, uh, bypassing this, uh, uh, this enforcement, we'll need to, uh, at this point, click on Shift and F10. We'll get a nice CMD window. We'll type Reg Edit. And now we can see uh, we are in a what's called a WinPE environment, but it's sort of a miniature size uh, windows that has a registry uh, uh, for it. So let's maximize it and we'll go to HK Local Machine, System, Setup. I have it right here because I'm te I tend to forget this kind of stuff and I'll share these exact values in the description of this video. We'll go to HK Local Machine, System Setup, and we'll click on right click, New Key, and we'll call it, it's case sensitive, so pay attention, Lab Config, capital L, capital C. All right. So now that we have this folder here, we we'll need to, inside it, create two D word values. The first one, again, case sensitive, so pay attention. Bypass TPM check. Double click on it, change the value to one. Another one. Again, change it to one. And according to what I see here, this is not a, a, a double P here, so I'll just delete it and create it all over again. My bad. All right, again, I'm going to share these values in the description of the video below. All right, so now that we have these two uh, uh, registry keys, uh, registry D word values in, or in place, we'll just close the registry editor, close the CMD window, close this window, click on quit, Yes. Now the uh, wizard is starting all over again. And if everything is uh, done correctly, now we'll just be taken to a regular uh, uh, setup environment. Select the addition. Now, this is, we are already past the point that uh, we were blocked the last time. From here, it's a regular setup. We load the driver because we need the Synology in VM tool drivers, we'll select Windows 10, 64 bit. And from here, it's just a regular installation, exactly like a Windows 10 installation. In fact, I'm going to cut the recording right here and I'm going to resume it when we have uh, the initial Windows 11, uh, let's say, call it a, a splash screen. And from there, uh, you will see that the installation he is completed as, as expected. All right, guys, so the installation is completed and as you can see, we are now presented with the initial Windows 11 uh, configuration wizard. Uh, so we can see that the installation uh, is completed successfully. By the way, I was asked a lot of times, why do we even need uh, to do these bypasses and, do, and not get an, a regular installation going? The reason is, is that as for uh, 2021, Synology devices do not have a physical uh, TPM chip uh, on their motherboards. And this is why we need to do these bypasses. But as you can see, using these bypasses gets us Windows 11 installed on our, uh, on our uh, Synology devices. So guys, I hope this is, was informative for you and I'll see you all on our, on our next videos. Bye guys.